Was Muhammad a real prophet? Is a question that is repeatedly put to me by hundreds of people who do not know the facts. Hence, I'm putting up this chapter to enlighten them. The Oxford Dictionary explains, Prophet, a person who predicts or claims to be able to predict what will happen in the future. From this root comes prophecy, prophesy, and prophetic, all of which are associated with foretelling future events. From Moses to most of the Jewish prophets, they were not only warners of their people, but actually predicted what would happen in the future. Not once in the Quran did Muhammad predict a future event that actually came true. In fact, Aisha in a hadith insisted that he could not tell future events. Al-Imran 3.179 Allah will not disclose to you the secrets of the unseen. Al-A'raf 7.188 If I had knowledge of the unseen, I should have multiplied all good and no evil should have touched me. I am but a warner and a bringer of glad tidings to those who have faith. Yusuf 10.20 They say, why is not a sign sent to him from his Lord? Say, the unseen is only for Allah to know. Then wait ye, I too will wait with you. Al-Jinn 72.26 He alone, Allah, knows the unseen, nor does he make anyone acquainted with his mysteries. In none of the above verses does Muhammad claim any knowledge of the future. On the contrary, he insists that he is incapable of doing so. Sahih Bukhari Hadith 9.477, then rated by Mazruq. Aisha said, If anyone tells you that Muhammad has seen his Lord, he is a liar. For Allah says, no vision can grasp him. And if anyone tells you that Muhammad has seen the unseen, that means to tell the future, is a liar. For Allah says, none has the knowledge of the unseen but Allah. In many of the verses of the Quran and the stories of the Ahadith, Muhammad did his best to portray himself as an Arabian version following in the footsteps of the Hebrew prophets. He actually fancied himself to be the fulfillment of the Jewish tradition of the Messiah, that he, Muhammad, was the promised Messiah for whom the Jews and Christians had been waiting. Al-Saf 61.6 And remember Jesus the son of Mary said, O children of Israel, I am the apostle of Allah sent to you confirming the law which came before me and giving glad tidings of an apostle to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad. But when he came to them with clear signs, they said, this is evident sorcery. Any reader of the Hebrew Bible and the New Testament would know that neither Muhammad nor Ahmad are either mentioned or predicted in these scriptures. Of course, being totally ignorant of the required attributes of the Jewish Messiah, he nonetheless unilaterally claimed this position and became full of hate towards the Arabians of the faith of the Jews because they derided his claims and refused to follow his cult. This enraged him to such an extent as to have had their men massacred and their women and children enslaved, raped or sold, and their wealth distributed among his plundering followers while he kept his 20% share of the booty and loot. Not a single one of the Hebrew prophets behaved in such an ungodly, selfish, and morally, as well as religiously depraved manner. Al-Baqarah 2.204 There is the type of man whose speech about this world's life may dazzle thee, and he calls Allah to witness about what is in his heart. Yet he is the most contentious of enemies. Ladies and gentlemen, this verse, is the most incredibly truthful one in the whole of the Qur'an since it fits Muhammad perfectly.